Hi, I'm Justin Loretz, the reviews editor for What Mountain Bike Magazine. In association with Unior Tools, I'm going to bring you some mountain bike maintenance tips. Chains are steel, but they do wear, they stretch. Not a huge amount, but anything over a millimetre in its total uh, 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 stretch is considered bad. So we use a tool like this. This is a simple chain measuring peg tool. First thing we do to check this piece of chain is we put the rear of the chain tool, chain wear indicator in that there, and then with the tool set to zero, we drop the front pin in. Now, as you can see, there's a space there. So what we do is we turn the dial until it stops. And what that's doing is making the tool get longer and it shows you with a little arrow exactly uh, how much of a millimeter of where you've got over this number of links. And the dial tells us that this chain has just under 0.6 millimeters of wear in it. Now we consider that to be absolutely fine. In fact, as I say, it can take up to a millimeter of wear before it's considered uh, ready for the bin. Um, personally, I probably run them up to about 0.8, just to be sure. That way I know I'm not gonna forget and run myself into some kind of trouble. But why change a chain anyway? Well, it's quite simple. Uh, chains run on little rollers in here and the space between the rollers is the pitch of the chain, okay? As chains stretch, that distance between the rollers grows very slightly. If left unchecked, that will continue to grow and continue to grow until it's overall over uh, 12, 12 links or so has grown more than a millimeter. And what that does is it basically, uh, if you keep riding with it, will cause the pitch of the teeth of your cassette and on your chain rings to increase by a similar amount. So you'll be oblivious to the whole thing happening, but you'll be basically not only wearing your chain out, but as the chain wears, you'll be wearing your sprockets and your chain rings at the same time. And ultimately, when you come to replace your chain with a chain with the, with the uh, uh, as new pitch, which would be much tighter, you'll suddenly realize that actually your chain is jumping on your sprockets and not meshing correctly with your chain rings. Um, what you've done there basically is you've worn your entire transmission out in one go, which means you're in for probably a hundred pounds worth of replacement cost. Much cheaper to go to the shop uh, at about, um, to be honest, about 0.8 millimeters on a tool like this uh, of wear and, uh, and toss the old chain into the bin and buy yourself a new one. Cheapest ones probably cost you under 10 pounds still. Um, and, and get that fitted. That way you're saving your uh, cassette from wear and your um, chain rings from wear. When you think about the difference between buying a 10 pound chain or a 100 pound set of sprockets, chain and chain rings, it's a no brainer.